everybody. Welcome back. Uh, have you got book pages that you don't know what to do with? I'm sure we all can, can answer yes to that. So today I am going to show you a new pocket idea um, that we can use these book pages with. Um, I've got the inspiration from designing this pocket uh, for some shabby chic TNs that I'm working on. And as you can see, um, just something a little bit different, and it got me thinking, oh, I'd really like to find a way to use my book pages for that. So, set that to the side and show you what I've come up with. I absolutely love it. I love the fact that this is all made out of book pages completely, even the little image inside, uh, which you can tweak that to whatever uh, theme journal that you're using. But I just think the more ideas that we can come up with on how to use these excess book pages, the better. So let's just jump straight in, guys. Now, this project will take a little, a little bit more time than you know. Most of my videos are 10, 15 minutes, so this one will take a little bit more. But we're just going to break it up into parts. And the first thing you want to do is get four book pages and glue two together. However you like to do it, I'm just going to, for the purposes of the video, use the glue stick to get that down. The next thing you're going to want to do is, what, what we're going to end up doing is this is the one that we're going to cut the circles in and put the image behind, and then at the end we will stitch those together. So um, I'll trim those down in a minute. The next thing you'll do is just sit one of them to the side, which is the back of the, um, of the pocket. And the reason I've done that is just to give it a bit more stability. You don't have to do that, depending on how thick your journal is getting. It will work without it, but I just chose to do it because it, it doesn't make it a bit sturdier. Okay, so now take some white gesso, and this will take a little bit of time because what you're going to want to do is add that um, the gesso to this, dry it, come back, and just make some areas a little bit darker than others. Because you just want to have the wording kind of toned down for this. Because then we're going to put it through the dry, um, the embosser on the uh, Big Shot to give it some texture and then we'll distress it. So this is where it'll take a little bit of time because I like to dry in between just to get a really nice coat. Um, so that you're not seeing a lot of the wording, it's just a really subtle background. So for time purposes, guys, I'm going to go ahead and shut the camera off. I'm going to dry it and then just add it until I get it the way we want it. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, that has dried now. And so to the next step. Now, if you've got a circle punch, you can do it with a circle punch. But I have i don't have the uh, mine are too large and too small, so... I'm, I've got the dies, so that's how I'm going to do these. Actually, <clears throat> let me think about this. Let me go ahead and cut this first. Let me trim this down. So, let me get my papers here. So, I'm going to trim this down to... Four and a quarter. <clears throat> by seven. Okay, 
and now we can cut those circles out because I just want to make sure I don't get the uh, circle too close to the edge otherwise it just makes it a little bit fragile. through because I want to have three circles cut. And it would help if I had the other cutting plate. Yep. No, that's that's right. I did have that right. Sorry, it's because I didn't have that cutting plate there. <coughs> I've been doing these this morning and uh, switching between the magnetic and this. Use myself, I think. Okay, guys, there. There we go. Get this out of your way. start coming together. So this is just some vintage photo and I'm just going to add that so that it'll pull out that embossed image a bit more. So I just put a little bit of glue around the, um, the circle and I get that down and then I'll show you. I just come back then and center the image and glue it before I glue the back to it. 
<clears throat> and I'll just trim off this excess here. That went over just a little bit, but that's okay. So what I've done, I the first one I used Edith Holden image, and it's very subtle, but I thought it might be nice to use something a little bit a little bit darker image on these. I think that'll look nice. That'll make that stand out a little bit more. So what I did, I just, this is a, um, a book I've got, and I just went through and I, I cut out <clears throat> ahead of time with my large circle punch some images that I knew I wanted to use for this. So now I'm just going to have to place those, and I think that pink one I'm going to try to keep in the center. And then just... Add those. Yeah, like that. Okay, so <clears throat> what I do now is just put a little bit of glue around that, each of those circles again, and then that way I can place the image where I want it to go, and then we will glue it to the um, back book page. And then that is going to, oh boy, I shouldn't have uh, added the glue to all of those circles. Obviously, this one, I've got some nature journals coming up, and I think this is going to be really pretty in the inside uh, as pockets. So now I'm just going to put some glue around it, and then this will go to the machine, and I'll stitch it. If you don't have a sewing machine, <coughs> don't worry. And like I said, you don't have to do this part because it's going to be a pocket. I just like it because I, I like my pockets to be a little bit sturdier because people, you know, are adding things in and inside and out, you know, in and out all the time. So, And you'll find whenever you run paper through the embosser, even though you cut the front and the back the same, when you run that through the embosser, it seems to stretch that paper because it's breaking down the fibers. So sometimes you have to trim around it afterwards. But you can see how that's looking. I really like that. So... I'll just take it to the machine, stitch around that, and then I'll probably do the same thing as the other one. I just added a little bit of, like a little snippet to it, and, uh, and then this will be done. Yeah, okay, I'll be right Okay guys, this is how it's looking give you a close-up so you can see. I, I decided on black thread for this one because it, it felt like it needed something. All right, so I've just got a little bit of <clears throat> muslin, a little piece of lace, and one of the little heart um, lace trims. And then I have decided with this one, I took the book page and just cut out a tiny butterfly. Where's my glue gone? Okay. And then I just add a little bit of uh, linen thread. Just going to glue that on the little tag there.
So this, as you can see, would easily be adaptable to a journal card, but I want it to be a pocket. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue there to hold that in place. And there you go. Get my journal here. And then I'll glue that down. And I just think that's going to be a really pretty uh, little pocket. In fact, I tell you what, let me just add a little phrase to that. See what I've got here that I can put. It does need a, I think a, a little word there. Let me see. I think I like it up there. So as you can see, this would be so easy to um, to change around. Like I said, I started out with the shabby chic ones. This, these I did not put the acetate um, because I had just cut these out to fit the circle um, and I just I didn't want the acetate in this uh, style journal. But as you can see, um, <clears throat> get your books out and just look for some really nice illustrations that you could use and then you could also use these digital downloads or some of your scrapbook paper as well. So anyways guys, I hope that that... Um, has shown you some another way to use up those book pages. I'm going to be making several of these because I've got I've got four. Well, it's probably going to be two nature gene, uh, themed, and then two that are probably going to be more shabby chic. So I'm going to be making several of these to go in these uh, fabric journals that I'm working on. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I hope you all are safe, and I'll be back very soon with some more things to share. Take care. Bye.